Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and we're multiplying decimals. Oh yeah! Yeah, okay, I've got to be honest with you. Multiplying decimals is not the most useful thing you're ever going to learn in maths. I'm a maths teacher and I don't think I've ever used multiplying decimals in real life. If I do need to multiply two decimals together, I just reach for a calculator. But maths teachers love to put this on maths tests, so I'm going to do it for completeness. So if you take two decimal numbers, let's have 2.7 and we're going to multiply it by 3.6. Now in order to do this you do know how to do what we call long multiplication, that's basically multiplying normal numbers together. If you're not sure how to do that, go and watch some of the multiplication videos. There's two main approaches for multiplication, you've got your traditional multiplication and your grid multiplication. I'm going to use grid multiplication here because a lot of people find that easier, but you can use the other one if you prefer. The key thing is here, just ignore all the decimal points. Pretend they're not there. So we're going to do 27 times 36. By any means you like, as I say, I'm going to use the grid method. So we have a 2 by 2 grid, because it's 2 digit by number by a 2 digit number. So it's going to be 27, because we're ignoring the decimal point, times 36. So I'll do this quickly. You can watch the grid multiplication video if you want to see the details of this. So 30 times 20, well 2 3's are 6, plus 2 zeros. 3 7's are 21, and I've got 1 0. 6 times 2 is 12, 1 0. And 6 times 7 is 42. Add it all up at the side, 600, 210, 120 and 42. So 0 plus 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 gives you 7. And 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 gives you 9. So, 27 times 36 will give you 972. And then all you've got to figure out is where to put the decimal points. Now what you look for is where the decimal points are in the question. How many decimal places are there all together? Now this number has got one decimal place, it's the 7. This number has got one decimal place as well. So all together you've got two decimal places. And that means you need to have two decimal places in the answer as well. So in this case, we have to put our decimal point there, because now I've got one, two decimal places. If you're not sure about decimal places, go and watch the decimal places video. That it does rounding in terms of how you round the decimal places, but it'll talk about how you figure out how many there should be and things like that. So 2.7 times 3.6 is 9.72. The key thing you've got to remember here is, however many decimal places there are in the question, that's how many decimal places there'll be in the answer. We'll just do one more to show you a slightly different one, but hopefully you get the idea. Alright, so it's going to be 0.06 times 0.08, a lot of noughts there. So you just do 6 times 8, yeah, just completely ignore all the decimal points, well 6 eighths are going to be 48, but then you count. I've got two decimal places here, 1, 2. And two decimal places here, one, two. So all together I've got four decimal places, that means I need four decimal places in the answer as well. Now the 48, that's always going to be up to the end of your number, so I need one, two, three, four decimal places all together. And you just fill out with zeros to get the number you need. So in this case I need zero, zero, then the decimal point, and another zero in front of it. So I've got one, two, three, four decimal places all together, because I've got one, two, three, four decimal places in the question. So the answer here is 0.0048. My name's Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths.